G'day guys and welcome to the first episode of this Collingwood career mode in AFL Evolution and I'm so glad we can finally say those words because we've been waiting for so long um, for this season pack 2018 and it's finally here and obviously as you know already we are going with the Collingwood Magpies and I'm very happy with that because obviously most of you know I do support Collingwood, I'm a one-eyed fan so uh, this is going to be a great series and if we can make our way to the, the finals and possibly the grand final that is um, really making me happy, but it's a long way off just yet. Um, I think in the poll, Collingwood won by, I think it was just one vote against Sydney. I think Sydney had about 17 when I last checked, and Collingwood had 18. So um, it's a very, very, very close poll. Thank you to everyone who voted. Um, I reckon we'll probably do maybe one or two more career modes after this. I'm not quite sure how quick this is going to go, but I guess that'll decide how many we do after this. But uh, as you can see there, I've simulated the two JLT Community Series games. We actually won both of those games, which is hopefully a good omen for the season. Um, we do have this first game against Hawthorne, round one. But before we jump into this match against the Hawks, we need to go into the office and check an email because we need to choose one of these three options. Um, we've got the safe, bonus and challenge options. I'm not going to read through them, but most of you know what these are. Um, I do. I'm going to go with the safe option just so we have 250,000 um, regardless of the outcome, which is good and obviously an additional 50,000 for final matches. So we'll go with the safe sponsorship deal. There we go. And now we can finally head into our first game against the Hawks. It's gonna be a rip -art. It's at the MCG, and let's get into it. Alrighty, here we are at the MCG. There's probably about 80 or 90,000 in at the moment. Hopefully that grows to about 100,000, but you wouldn't think so. And we'll just skip all of this, head straight into the bounce. We'll be kicking to the left of screen. And let's get into it. Brody Grundy gets the first tap of the, the career mode. Ben McAvoy's marker just outside 50. Bangs it in forward now, and Jack Gunston takes the first mark inside 50. Will he slow it? Let's hope not. And looks like he's missed it to the left, and they get it behind. Ben Reid, nice kick. Oh, unfortunately, Daniel Wells wasn't in a very good position. Taylor DeRay takes the mark. Big pack forms. And Braden Maynard, great mark out the back there. Oh, wow. Piopolo takes another mark for the Hawks inside 50. They've had a lot of the possession so far in this match. Gets it to about the goal square, and Jarman Impey takes the mark. Luckily, it's not directly in front. And he slots it through. So Hawthorne get the first goal of the game. And I think Diffity's on hard at the moment. So um, I'm not sure if we need to dial that down or put it up yet, but we'll soon see. Big Coxie, oh, couldn't get to that one. You wouldn't think James Frawley bet out Mark Mason Cox. Trelaw takes a good mark. And they try and get inside 50 as much as possible. Cox, big bump. Oh, couldn't take the mark. That was definitely a nice chance there for him. Pushed in the back, get out of here. Oh, that. Oh, it's going to be a mark, isn't it? Yes. Ricky Henderson, never heard of this bloke, takes the mark. You think he's going to go for the drop punt. Bit of a banana. Don't know what he's done, he's missed it somehow. Should have been an easy kick. Going to get Ben Reid to bang it out. It's a nice looking kick. Wheels couldn't get to it again. Here they come now. Nice little hands. He's, who's that? Number five. It's Ryan Burton, I think. Um, yeah, we'll try and get it somewhere near our Ford 50. It's a bit hard at the moment. Taylor Duray takes another mark. And gets it inside 50. Braden Maynard yet again. Great interception mark. Ben McAvoy's got a chance here. I tell you what, we've had nothing yet. I don't think we've taken a mark inside 50. That looks like a good kick. And he puts it through the, the two middle sticks. So Hawthorne can't lead us by 14 points. We've yet to get on the scorecard. He's gone backwards, the Hawks. I don't know what they've done. Grundy almost gets the pick up. Oh, wait, it's in there, Ford 50. What am I thinking? For some reason, I thought it was in our Ford 50, and I've just completely bottled that. Hawks lead us by 20 now. Jeez. Yes, good mark, Taylor Adams. Found Daniel Wells there. Oh my god, you're joking me. Grant Birchall takes the mark. Didn't even know Grant Birchall, Grant Birchall still played for the Hawks. Gets inside 50 again. Good mark, Brody Grundy. Um, yeah, it's just a little weird at the moment. Not much happening for us. Coxie outmarked again by James Frawley. Bit of a weird one there. Good mark, Pendles in the centre circle. Few options, in, few options inside 50. See Jamie Elliott just there. I'm going to try and get it to him. Looks like we have. And no mark. Two on one. Surely should have got a mark there. Coxie somehow finds it. Oh, jeez. 
Cox nearly runs him down almost again. Look at this. They're just going one, two. Toying with Mason Cox. What is this? What is this? That is insane. I've never seen that happen before. They've just... It almost looked like a glitch. It just They just keep going. And once again, they get another goal, the Hawks. This is a horror start for the Pies. We, we trailing, we're trailing by 27 points. Yet to get on the scorecard. We need a goal or two. I was about to say before quarter time, but there is the siren. Jeez, so we, we trail by 27 points, quarter time. Not a good start at all. The Hawks are just beating us in everything. Like, we cannot get um, a mark inside 50 yet. I think don't think we've had one, which is uh, very bad. Not the way I wanted to start the career mode, but we've got three quarters left. This, this, uh, we can definitely change it here. Mason Cox gets inside 50. Yes! We get our first mark inside 50. Alex Vasolo should be able to slot this. Oh no, not much on it. Darcy Moore, he's let it through. We get our first goal. Thank the Lord. We definitely needed that. Good way to start the second quarter. Um, but yeah, trailing by 21 at the moment. Let's hope we can get a couple more early in this quarter. Trelaw bangs it forward. And no mark again. <clears throat> Tom Mitchell picks it up. Finds uh, Frawley, I think that is. Bit of space here for Jamie Elliott. Try to get it to Adams. He'll get the pick up. And Berg almost just destroyed him. Look at this once again. Bit of a back and forth bit of play. Need to get possession here. Almost do there with Trelaw. I hate when they just tap around like that. It's the worst thing in this game. And, oh, Jarman Impey somehow misses that mark. Oh, it's a good kick. That's a good looking kick to Ricky Henderson. Directly in front. He should be able to slot this. And, yes, he does. Straight through the middle. Oh, so the margin's back out to 27 points. Um, this needs to be our quarter. We need to make a bit of a comeback so they don't get away uh, too far. Good interception from Grundy. Pendle's got a bit of space. Get it on the barrel. Oh, it's unlucky. Goes through for behind. Oh, look at this. They're through here. And he's gone the shorter option. Jack Gunston takes the mark. Couldn't do much about that. It was just a good little tap away. Goes even further across to Jarman Impey. <sighs> They're just outplaying us at the moment, the Hawks. And is that another goal? Yes, it is. So they've led us by 32 points at the moment. We start off this quarter very well. And we've just sort of faded away a bit. Or again, Rioli takes the mark. I haven't seen much of him in this game yet. Jarman MP again takes another mark inside 50. And is that a point? I think it is. Yes, it is. Went with a barrel. Bit of a weird option. Ben Reid, I'm going to try and get it outside at their 50. That's where... It's just so dangerous at the moment. They're going to get it again because we can't even take a mark. There we go. Jeremy Howe, old reliable. He's very, um, very good down back. Yes, Brody Grundy somehow took that mark. Mason Cox on a bit of a lead there. Good kick and a good mark. He's got the distance. Might as well have a crack. Not much time left in the second quarter. He's lighted up with a barrel. Good looking kick. Darcy Moore. Got him. There you go. We should be able to kick our second here. Easy shot in front of the goals. And there you go. Darcy Moore gets his first goal. That's also his first possession. So he's been very quiet so far. And back to 27 points. Pendles almost finding Trelaw. They've got a bit of space here with Burgoyne. And yes, well done Tyson Goldsack. Heard a few nice intercept marks um, in their back line. But... We need more of them, basically. Penderbury, good mark. Try and get Coxie on the lead again. Or anyone. Oh, Coxie, I was going to say. Looked like Fasala wanted that mark. Absolutely no wind. Goes with a drop punt. Good looking kick again. Darcy Moore. Got him again. Another mark inside the square. And this will probably be one of the last kicks of the quarter. He'll slot this home. And there you go. That's Darcy Moore's second goal. Two in a row for him. And it's back to 21 points. And, oh, look at that. Beautiful pick up from Tyson Goldsack. Here's Coxie. Almost finds Penelope. He was away there. He had a lot of space ahead of him. If we can get one more possession, get inside 50. There it is. There's a the halftime siren. It's been a very eventful quarter and half, I should say. Um, but we did make a little bit of a comeback there. Scored two goals uh, in the dying stages of the second quarter. Um, so Darcy Moore's got two. Alex Solo with one. And our major ball winner or winners were Scott Penelope and Mason Cox, both with six at the moment. Um, Sean Burgoyne racking him up. He's got 12 possessions and a goal, trailing very well. But um, 
yeah, 21 point margin. There's a whole half of footy left. We should better. Well, I know it's definitely possible to make a comeback. It's just a matter if we can do it. Oh, brilliant tackle, Pendles. And we've got a bit of pressure on the Hawks at the moment. Penelope almost getting the pick up. Coxie's lurking. And can we get a little pick up? There it is. Try and get a hand pass away. For Oh, my God. It's just so annoying. They keep intercepting it. Mitchell gets inside 50. And bloody Jarman Impey. He's had a low chance as a goal. I think he's kicked about one or two. And he's centered it to Ben McAvoy. Surely he'd be able to slot this big Ben. And it looks like he has. Bloody hell. So there you go. 27 point lead again. Oh, nice little kick away from Brody Grundy. No mark in the, the 50. Elliot off the ground. How about again? For Solo off the ground. He's kicked it. I thought it might have shaved the post. But we get our third goal, I think, of the match. Might be our fourth goal. Yes, it is. So we're 4-1 to 7-4. Trailing by 21 points. Berg one again. Just gets that little clearing kick. And bloody Jarman Impey. He's always there. I don't know why we can't... Oh, my God. And he never takes his shots as well. He's, he's always looking for an option. Jack Gunston. Oh, my God. Takes it back out to 27 points. So we, we've kicked a goal. They've kicked a goal. And it's just going on like that for... It's been like that for a while. Coxie finds Trelaw. And holding the ball. Jeez. Didn't really have much uh, much of an option there. Couldn't do much. Pitonet takes the mark. Never heard that name. Find Sean Burgoyne. He's had a lot of the ball in this game. Surely he wouldn't slot this. Oh my god, he has. He's put it through the sticks. Wow! So we kick a couple of goals, and then Hawthorne just do that and just almost bury our chances. If they kick, if they kick a few more, we, we don't have much of a chance in this match anymore. But uh, Coxie turns around, has a crack. That's going in. There you go. Mason Cox kicks his first goal. And he is proving to be very dangerous in that centre-half forward position. Trelaw finds Cox. Surely not on the 50. That's a horrible kick. We'll take the boundary throw in. Yeah, they're just passing it around at the moment. Ben McAvoy gets it inside 50. And, oh my God, Jack Gunston. He's on Tyson Goldsack, and he's probably a bit of a mismatch there. But it um, looks like Jack Gunston's hit it to the left. It's good for us. We'll take the point. Ben Reid smashes it to space. Daniel Wells is there. You should be able to get to a first. He does. Gets the kick away. Good lead there from Penelope. I can see Jared Blair on his own. Can't really see him anymore. Jamie Elliott. Got him. There we go. Penelope spotted him. Trying to get the kick away. And he did. And found Jamie Elliott. who should be able to slot this. There's a good kick. And he certainly has. Great shot there. That's definitely helped us a lot. That takes it back to, what is it, 22 points now. It's been that 20, 30 mark for a long time. And almost, Penelope almost finding Brody Grundy there. Good tackles. Oh my god, that's just so annoying when that happens. Burgoyne gets it inside 50 again. Bloody hell. Piopolo. They're just those little quick kicks away. They always seem to find them. And again, Ben McAvoy. Who is, is Ben McAvoy playing bloody centre half forward or something? Come on, who's that? Lyndon Dunn, is it? Ben Reid. I'm pretty sure Lyndon Dunn's actually... What have I done? I didn't mean to play on there. Bloody hell. Almost stuffed it. Maynard, try to get it away. Need to get rid of it. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, good mark, Adam Trelaw. Brilliant little pick up there. And Cox, dear, will he get it? Looks like he will. Good mark, just outside 50. Definitely within his range. Going to go with a barrel. Oh, not a bad kick. Darcy Moore. How is that charging? That's, that annoys me a little bit because the ball's like coming down. Oh, anyway, we've got another mark here, Pendles. Should we go for the shot? I reckon we should. We'll just go for the drop punt. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful looking kick. Pendlebury didn't think he had the distance in him, but he certainly did. And it's back to 17 points. Finally broke that, um, that sort of, you know, we've had him in the 20s for a long time. Anyway, Trelaw. Try to get the hands off to Cox. I was waiting for that little turnaround. Darcy Moore almost getting it there. Oh, that's a costly kick, whoever that was. We can see Jamie Elliott on his own. Please, no. Will Langford. It was a one on two, and the one prevailed. Now with Stratton. Oh, look out. Yes, for Solo. In great intercept, Mark. Should be able to slot this home as well. Yes, we do. So I think it's down to about 11 points, I think. Yes, it is. So Hawthorne leads by 11 points. 
Third quarter will be ending soon. It's going to shape up to be a ripper of a fourth quarter. That final siren must be so close. 27 minutes gone. Oh, yes, and there it is. So we made a great comeback in that, uh, that third quarter. We're currently kicking 8-1, so it shows how good our, um, our efficiency has been um, when having set shots for goal, or kicking for goal, I should say. Hawthorne on 9-6-60 to 8-1-49. Burgoyne still the major ball winner for the Hawks with 16 possessions and two goals. He's having a great game. Penelope, though, for us, he's uh, definitely starred in that third quarter with 12 possessions and a goal. Let's get stuck into this fourth quarter. It's going to be a big one. Can we make our way in front and win this game? They've let us all game the Hawks. Get him. Surely tackle him. Who's this? Is that Luke Bruce or Jack Gunston? Either way, we've just got bumped off the ball. Ben Reid, great little interception there. Finds Brody Grundy. We'll get it back to Adams. To Cox. He'll get there, surely. Good pick up, Cox. No. Oh, high tackle. You're kidding me. Grundy with a tap away. Here we go. Daniel Wells found some space. Get inside 50. Darcy Moore. No. I went for the bump, but I completely missed Stratton. That is costly. That drop is also costly. Here's Coxie. Bit of a tongue twister there. Good tackle. Darcy Moore. Penelope almost got the pick up. Kicks it inside 50. Who's that? Darcy Moore. He's found him. Moore. Off. Oh. Couldn't get the kick away. And oh, yes. Will Oscar Elliott. Great interception. Here's a great kick on goal. Should be able to slot this. Hasn't quite got the distance. Darcy Moore. Yes, got him. Brilliant mark. And he de will definitely slot this. Right on the edge of the square. There you go. Takes it back to, I think it's five points. There you go. It's very close now. We can get one more goal, take the lead, and then try and build an even bigger lead. Grundy finds Trelaw. Look at the space he's got. I'll take the shot. No. Darcy Moore was just sitting in the square. I went selfish with Trelaw. I should have went with Darcy Moore. He was just sitting there in the square. Oh, that is really annoying. Just a bad decision. Yes, we lost Canelli again. Fasolo's there. Try and get it to him. Yes, got him. Great mark, Alex Fasolo. Pretty much directly in front. This should give us a lead. Yes, it will. The Pies take the lead. Come on. We lead him by two points, I think. Yes, we do. Can we build this lead a little more and get the win at the end of the, the siren? Coxie tries to get it away over his head. Mason Cox again has a crack. Have a good bounce. No, it'll be a boundary throw and we'll definitely take that. Brody Grundy, nice tap away again. Look at Mason Cox. He's racking up the disposals. Did man to go to the hand pass there. And oh, look at this. Mason Cox again. And he's been pushing the back. He'll have a shot on goal. It's just, he's a bloody ball magnet, Coxie. It just keeps falling to him. Oh no, horrible kick. Darcy Moore, will he grab it? Oh, Alex Vasolo. Somehow took that mark. We'll go with the drop punt. Should be an easy kick. Come on, Pies. That's an eight point lead now. Oh, I can't believe we found our way back into this match. Like, they had us at about 33 points, I think the highest uh, margin was. And we lead them by eight points at the moment. Coxie finds Penbury again. Look at the space he's got. Has a shot on goal. He's slotted at home. Come on, the Pies. That's a 14-point lead now. And we're somehow just we're somehow winning this match. He's just gone from nothing, like from being 33 points down, and now we're, we're 14 up. Look at that. They're just not even going near Taylor Adams. Jamie Elliott can stroll in and kick the fourth of the, the quarter, I think. I'm pretty sure that's our fourth of the quarter. Mitchell goes for the quick hand pass, gets it back. Bergwijn gets it inside 50. Ricky Henderson takes the mark. 20 points up. And make that 14 now. That's Ricky Henderson's third, uh, no, second goal. Back to 14 points, as I said. There's probably about a minute or so left, if I can estimate. Adams almost finding Mason Cox. Found him this time. Cox back to Adams. Almost getting inside 50. Burgoyne, look at that. Just all class from Sean Burgoyne. Finds Frawley. Little kick back to Burgoyne. A great intercept mark from Adam Trelaw. Going to slow it down a bit. Try and look for a good option. I can see Jamie Elliott. Didn't quite get it to him. Yes, good mark, Alex Vasolo. If we can kick this, I reckon this will, um, this will be the last nail in the coffin. And he sure does. Brilliant kick from Vasolo. That is his sixth goal. I can't believe he slotted six. He's just absolutely flown under the radar. 
I haven't seen much of him, but he's slotted six goals, so I guess he's been there a fair bit. Trelaw, good hand pass to Brody Grundy, to Cox. This will be it. That'll be it. There you go. That'll finish it. Great win from the Pies. Cannot believe we've actually made our way back. Considering we're 33 points down, I think, at about quarter time. Didn't even score in the first quarter. It's probably about, a, about 10 seconds left, I reckon. There's not much left in this game. Siren's about to blow. There it is. <sighs> so we get the win in round one, guys. It's always nice to win the first game and try and build a bit of momentum. Brilliant win from the Pies. Very happy with them. Look at Mason Cox. 21 disposals for Mason Cox. And remember, this is five-minute quarters, so 21 disposals in a normal game, that'd probably be about 40, I reckon. So a really good game for Mason Cox. 16 disposals for Penderbury and two goals. Um, and our top goal kicker was Alex Vasolo with six. That's a brilliant effort. Onto the Hawks, Tom Mitchell and Sean Burgoyne, both equaling 20 possessions. And Jarman Impey slotting three goals for the Hawks. But it was a brilliant win from the Pies. And we're one and zero. I think next week we've got the GWS Giants, so that can be that's going to be a close game, I reckon. The Giants are um, they've got a quality side, a quality midfield. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.